What's up guys? Luke here from Luke's Points and Miles and on this channel we talk about credit cards, personal finance, if those are things you could be interested in. Think about subscribing to the channel. We update at least twice weekly and if you get any value at all from this video please hit the like button. I wanted to give you guys an update on my experience with American Express retention offers. I know there are a few videos around of other people's experiences and I'd like to share mine. It is a little different than what I've seen on other people's YouTube videos. So I'll just go ahead and with it and tell you how my retention offers have been going the last couple months. My first experience with the American Express Gold Card, about eight or nine weeks ago, my annual fee posted. Now, if you've ever heard me talk about the American Express Gold Card, you would know that I'm never getting rid of this card. Uh, this card pays for itself and it is my big time point generator. I use a lot of money on groceries and a lot of money towards dining and I'm probably never getting rid of this American Express Gold Card. But I had to try, right? $250 annual fee. I started a chat with the American Express representative and I told them that I was thinking about not renewing the card because of the high annual fees and because I have so many annual fees. The representative went into their spiel about the different values and the different benefits the gold card provides. I told them it provides plenty of value and I do use it and it's my favorite card. It's just that I have so many annual fees and some of the benefits are sometimes forgotten on the gold card. And I referenced sometimes I forget to use the Grubhub benefit and I end up losing money. Now this conversation went on for about five to 10 minutes. They did explain all the different benefits. Um, obviously, I researched my credit cards and I've been using the benefits. So I, I didn't have a problem with that. And I did agree with them that, that the card provides plenty of value. And I just told them, I said, and I told the representative, if you had any type of retention offer, it would make my decision very easy. And he finally said, since you are a valued customer, we'd like to offer you 30,000 membership rewards points to keep your card open another year. Now, 30,000 membership rewards points, absolutely. Now remember, I'm not getting rid of this card anyway. So that one was fairly easy. Uh, I think it was the first day the annual fee hit. And within a couple days, I had 30,000 extra membership rewards points in my account. Awesome. Thank you, American Express. Last week, my annual fee for my American Express Platinum hit my account. Now, before we get into that, let me give you some background. I have both the Vanilla Platinum and the Charles Schwab Platinum. I got the Vanilla Platinum first, and my original strategy was to cancel the Vanilla Platinum when the annual fee hit, and then keep the Charles Schwab Platinum. Well, this is what happened and this is how American Express kind of threw a monkey wrench in my plans. About four or five weeks ago, I got a message from American Express and they asked me if I would like an offer to add an authorized user on my Vanilla Platinum. The offer was 20,000 membership rewards points for $2,000 spend. And obviously the authorized user for the Platinum card is $175. Basically, I'm paying $2,175 for 20,000 membership rewards points. And my wife, my player two, now has a Platinum card with the same benefits. She'll have status at Hilton, status at Marriott. She'll have access to Centurion lounges. And this is about the same time the different news was coming out about the changes to the Centurion lounge. Now I can give my wife access. I don't have to worry about the changes. And also I wanted 20,000 membership rewards points. So I gladly took that offer and made my wife an authorized user for the next year. So now I'm $175 more into it. And if I cancel the card now, I lose that authorized user and I kind of lose my $175 investment. Weigh that how you want. Then this happened. About two weeks after that, I got an email saying they will give me 20,000 membership rewards points if I turn on the pay over time option. Up until this point, I had not turned that on because I don't use my cards that way. I don't carry a balance. 
I never saw any need to pay over time at all. But for 20,000 membership rewards points, I will turn the option on. So now, I'm 40,000 membership rewards points in bonuses before my annual fee hits. Fast forward. My annual fee hits, and this is when I contact American Express asking if there are any retention offers. When I contact the representative, I pretty much tell them the same thing I told them for the gold card. I told them that I love the platinum card. I use it. I think it's a great card. I get great value from it. I just have trouble using some of the benefits. And I told them I really didn't plan to travel as much in the next year as I normally would. Is that true? You know, I'm not sure. The representative, after five or ten minutes of telling me all the different benefits and things like that, told me that they were not able to give me any type of retention offer at this time. And that was the first time I had even thought about not getting an offer at all. Now, I'm not sure if those 40,000 membership rewards bonus points that I got previously had anything to do with that. But I said, okay, I appreciate your time and thank you. Being the super awesome, patient customer that I am, I waited about 30 minutes and started a new chat. The second chat ended the same as the first chat. The representative was completely nice and professional and really awesome. They just did not give me any offers and they did remind me that the offers may change from day to day. So I said thank you for your time and ended the chat. That was a Wednesday so I became even more patient and I waited two whole days and contacted them last Friday. Same conversation, same reasons. Uh, eventually the representative offered me 30,000 membership rewards points to keep the card open. Now remember, I was going to close this card anyway and just keep the Charles Schwab Platinum. But with essentially 70,000 membership rewards points extra, I'm going to go ahead and keep this card open. I took the 30,000 membership rewards points and I renewed the card. So now with a change in strategy, here's my question for you all. Now what do I do with a Charles Schwab Platinum card? Having the option of cashing out membership rewards points for 1.25 cents per point is a great option sometimes, especially when travel is cheap or when something in life comes up. To not have that option, you're really not cashing out your membership rewards points, not for anything of value. So my question is to you guys, what do I do? Is it worth having two platinum cards for an annual fee of $550 each? In the last 12 months, it has been worth it. Those cards have actually made money. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and if you have any advice for me. At the moment, I'm undecided. In the last six months or so, I have cashed out quite a few membership rewards points, so I do use that option, and I generally use that option for travel money. And speaking of American Express membership rewards points, if you didn't already know, using a cashback portal like Rakuten, you can actually select the option of taking American Express rewards points in lieu of cashback. We do have a link below. Use our link and you can get $30 cash back off your first purchase. And it does support the channel. Guys, I almost forgot. Check us out on Facebook, Luke's Points and Miles. We have a group now. You can ask any question you like. And you can basically be in an environment where everyone is trying to learn the Points and Miles credit card game. If you have time, check us out. Guys, if you have stayed around to the end, thank you.